Recently, I got a huge haul of French country style or Swedish country style neoclassical furniture for about $40 an item. And I have a video where I showed how I did the console table and the armoire, and I finally got around to doing the mirrors and the dresser. So I'm gonna show you those today. I'm really excited with how they turned out. The colors were chosen by my five-year-old, and I think she did a great job. Here is the dresser that I got for about 40 bucks recently. And it's got this real Swedish look to it. It was made by Davis Cabinets in Tennessee. And these mirrors are from a different company in North Carolina. They're really heavy, really good quality. And the dresser is too. I think it might be the nicest piece of furniture I've ever worked on. And they're painted in this white that's gotten really yellow over time but the shapes are just great and i wanted to update them for my girls room and my girls really love pink <laughs> no surprise there i guess but actually for this project my little girl said she was a little tired of pink and she wanted to do green i first painted these mirrors in parisian patina which is one of my favorite colors i turned it into a chalk paint by mixing in plaster of paris so i put two coats of Parisian patina on these mirrors and then I went over the highlights with lounge green which is another Sherwin-Williams color that I love and it is kind of in the even Sherwin-Williams says it, it complements with Parisian patina and it kind of looks like the oxidation on copper if you think of Parisian patina as the copper then my little girl said I want those ladies to be pink. And I was like, ah, uh, okay. So I took my Scandinavian pink Annie Sloan chalk paint and I just went with it. I painted them pink and I outlined all of the carving on the mirror very carefully in the Scandinavian pink. And I really wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but my little girl's insight, I think ended up being spot on. And I really like the way the Scandinavian pink works with the Parisian patina and the lounge green. It really kind of makes me think of some Carl Larson paintings that I've seen of his home where everything is like real arts and crafts and bright. So it's not what you might think of typically for Scandinavian where everything's light and soft white and soft gray this is another kind of swedish country style still very swedish country but more saturated colors and green a lot of green i painted the body of the dresser in lounge green and I sanded it down and then I painted it with a second coat of lounge green and then I painted the drawers in Scandinavian pink. I put the hardware back on that came with the dresser and then I went over the carving on the dresser with Parisian patina to kind of add some depth and interest and then I sealed the whole thing with a coat of Minwax natural paste wax. The main way I'm planning on styling these dressers, I actually hate using that word styling, but what I'm gonna put on them for the girls, the main thing is I'm gonna put some trays so they can keep brushes and when they're older, maybe perfume or some makeup if they don't keep it in their drawers. And I'm just gonna play around with a few things to put on them right now to make them look pretty. I painted these two years and years ago. I got them at some junk shop and I painted them in Florence by Annie Sloan, which was my favorite color for a long time. I was really obsessed with it. They're two slightly different sizes, but I don't think it really matters. And I like how they look, even if they're not a perfect coordinating color, I, I like the difference a lot. I just went outside and sniffed some peonies. I love keeping a little glass of flowers on my dressing table. It just, whatever's in the yard, dandelions, violets, anything. Right now we're lucky and the peonies are blooming and they look so pretty with the green. A few other things. This looks like a Swedish print to me. It's a little tin my mom gave my daughter that she got at a yard sale. This is a really old brush. It's kind of pretty.
Oh, and of course, a lamp. This lamp has been in the girls' room. This is something else I bought years and years ago for six bucks and I painted it. And it's a little wobbly now as my son's knocked it down once and kind of knocked it all loose, but I still like it a lot. It's very French country. So I'm gonna put it here for now and I might look for another kind of lamp that fits maybe better. Please let me know in the comments if you have an idea of what kind of table lamp would be good for this dresser because I'm a little bit at a loss. Little jewelry box and twelve. My daughter just painted this with leftover from the dresser. So there's some different thing. I This is what I'm thinking is that this dresser is gonna be like a dressing table for my two girls. So I think this is a Swedish country style dresser in a real Carl Larson kind of way. I have a video where I go all into how to get a Swedish country style look in your home based on the paintings of Carl Larson. And I've also got several videos where I've painted other furniture with this combination of Parisian patina and lounge green, which is a great French look as well. I love painting furniture to get a French country style or Swedish country style or even English country style look. I love green painted, but I do do other colors as well. Furniture that's been painted in this white, off-white factory finish is some of my favorite kinds to upcycle or redo because you don't have to have the angst about, oh, should I paint it or not? Should I ruin the wood? It's already been painted, so you're all good there. If you're interested in learning more about Swedish country style, the Carl Larsson way, please check out my video about that. And let me know in the comments, do you prefer the warmer, brighter Scandi colors or more of the whites and grays? Um, I think it's an interesting dichotomy. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more painted furniture flips and Swedish, French, and English country style. This is Kathleen from Old World Farmhouse. Bye.